Dot blot is a quick and easy method for detecting biological samples, like proteins or nucleic acids. It follows a similar principle to Western blotting and Southern blotting, except the sample is not blotted from a gel. Instead, samples are dotted directly onto a membrane before being probed for detection. Because dot blot is so simple, it's used to support many different applications. These include monitoring labeling efficiency with various probes, estimating the concentration of a specific protein in a sample, and comparing the performance of different antibodies. As an example, let's consider how a dot blot would be used to determine the labeling efficiency where a sample has been labeled with biotin. This involves comparing the labeled sample to a known biotinylated reference standard. First, make serial dilutions of the test sample and the reference standard, ensuring that both are diluted in exactly the same way. A tenfold serial dilution is a good place to start as it gives a wide range of sample concentrations. To make a tenfold serial dilution, aliquot 90 microliters of buffer into each tube, then take 10 microliters of the test sample and add it to the first tube. Mix thoroughly before transferring 10 microliters to the next tube, repeating this for all the tubes in the series. Perform the same process for the biotinylated reference standard. Next, prepare the membrane according to the manufacturer's specifications. Then, take small aliquots of your serial diluted test sample and dot them on the membrane surface. The dots should be uniform in volume and size. Usually 1 microliter or even 0.5 microliters is sufficient and should be spaced carefully to avoid overlap. Dot the serial dilutions of the reference standard onto the membrane in the same way, placing the dots adjacent to the test sample dots, then allow the membrane to air dry for a few minutes. The membrane is now ready for detection. In this example, the biotin-labeled sample can be detected with any striptavidin or avidin-labeled conjugate, such as striptavidin alkaline phosphatase or avidin horseradish peroxidase. A typical detection workflow begins with 30 minutes incubation in a blocking solution to minimize any background signal, followed by two 15-minute washes in TBST. Next, the membrane is incubated for 30 minutes with a suitable conjugate diluted in the blocking solution before two further 15-minute washes in TBST. Finally, the membrane is transferred to an appropriate enzyme substrate for color development. This might be BCIP and BT for alkaline phosphatase detection or DAB to detect peroxidase. Once the signal is developed, compare the intensity of the test sample dots to those of the reference standard. This provides a semi-quantitative assessment of the labeling efficiency.